Here is our tail of the tape for our opening bout. Lightweight division, there's William Zepeda, 23-0, 21 knockouts, he's just 25. John Vincent Moralde, he's 27. Slight height advantage to Zepeda, but it's Moralde with the reach advantage. I'm curious to see how he's gonna react once he feels the power of William Zepeda, because Zepeda has serious, serious dynamite in both fists. Zepeda in the green. Moralde in the whites, 10 rounds. Moralde, he has this uh, awkward upper body movement that's hard to time. So I could see, I could see Zepeda having trouble timing him. But once he does, you know, the, Zepeda's the type of guy that punches at your chest and at your shoulders. He doesn't always have to hit you up top. And as Zepeda mentioned in the fighter meeting, he knows that his opponent throws wide punches just like that. Yeah. So he said he's going to be more cautious, which seems to be the case. Nice jab to the body there from Zepeda. Didn't have a lot of those in his fight against Tanahara. In fact, he landed 188 punches. 181 of those, Sinisa, were power punches. Wow. Wouldn't want to be in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super bad, but I don't know about... Super no, bad you know, against the Peta. I, I didn't know what to expect from Zepeda when I saw the Tanahara. And, you know, I, I called Tanahara several of his fights. I didn't know how good he was, but he, was, he just impressed me. William Zepeda yeah. impressed me, cutting off the ring. He forces you to fight him. So in order, in order to beat a fighter like Zepeda, you got to fight him off. Yeah. Oh, nice counter right there from the Philippine fighter. And that's what I was going to say. Moraldi's trying to set up that right hand. He has really good timing. It's awkward. Upper body movement is a little awkward, but that right hand's really nice, and that's the best weapon versus a southpaw. It's a battle with so much power, even though those punches are blocked. That's a slip. Even though the punches are blocked, Sergio, they're still causing some problems. Oh, absolutely. I mean, anyone could tell you. I mean, you, if you could hear the, the thump from Zapata's punches, even when they hit the bicep of, of uh, Moraldi, it hurts. Yeah, Zepeda weighing in at 134 pounds, but he packs quite a punch. And he's been a natural lightweight his entire career, like I mentioned earlier. And Moraldi, he's coming up from 111. Those right hooks of the body are going to be very effective. Todd Grisham, Sergio Mora, and Sinisa Superbad Estrada on commentary here ringside. Chris Mannix also joining us. As we count down the minutes to our main event tonight, Gabe Rosado is back, coming off that knockout of the year contender win. Where he busted out Beck the Bully, taking on Jaime Munguia, one of the most electrifying fighters in the sport today. Speaking of electrifying, William Zapata continuing to hammer away. I like how he's touching on top just to rip that right, right hook to the body, opening it up nicely. Yeah, it doesn't smother his punches either, Zepeda. You, you notice it's, it's always extended real nicely with that right hand. If it's not to the chest, it's up to the chin, but all, always in, in position to land his power. What does Moraldi have to do oh. to turn this around as he eats some body nice shots? Body shot. What's punch, he have to do here? Punch in between the shots. I think that's his best bet because Moraldi's not a power punch, especially at lightweight. I mean, he, he's a tricky veteran, but he's going to have to catch it, catch Zepeda in between the shots where Zepeda is coming at him aggressively, and he can use his own strength against him. And now, as you notice, Moraldi doesn't know whether to keep his hands high or keep them low because now he's filling those body shots. So, And as soon as Zepeda goes to the body, he goes right back up to the head. Thundering, Just like that. booming body shots from Zepeda. And they're having their effect as Moraldi wants to hold on now. And that's the first time that Moraldi's wanting to hold on. See, so he punches and smothers the attack right there holding on. That's, that's a sign of fatigue and discouragement on Moraldi's part. And remember, we're in the third round, scheduled for 10. Miles to go before they sleep. Is that Jack Frost? <laughs> I have no idea. You're the poet. You're always quoting Shakespeare. Jack Frost? He, isn't he a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is coming up. <laughs> Someone will send something on Twitter. Give us the correct. And miles to go before they see him. I'm going to look at myself. Yeah, Marazzi's going to hit solid hooks. 
right and left hooks right there. I mean, Robert, you, Robert Frost. There you go. I knew he was something for I you messed up. I feel like Ronaldo doesn't Ronaldo really, using his head right there. I feel like he doesn't really know what to do. His game plan, whatever he thought his game plan was, kind of went out the window. Now he just has to do what he can to land a punch. Yeah, and he's looking at some dirty t tactics right there. Ronaldo lead leading with his head. He's been penalized There's before. A counter, counter straight right hand. Have we gotten to a point already for John Vincent Moraldi that it's survive, not win? Definitely just trying to survive. Zapata can pretty much land any shot he wants right now. Zapata represented Mexico in the Youth Olympics back in 2014. About 200 amateur fights. He's been doing this a long time, and he's only getting better and better as Moraldi's balance is starting to go oh. a little bit. Zapata opening up. Nice body work. And here's the thing. Moraldi's looking for a right hand. He keeps throwing that right hand. He landed two of them. It's just not, not enough power to keep Zapata off him. There is another straight right hand for Zapata. Moraldi's starting to shrink right in front of our eyes. Zapata fights like a lefty who's right-handed because he's so aggressive and, and so relentless. Actually, he, actually, you're right, Sinisa. He is a natural right hand. He's a natural right-handed, that's right. So his power, hand is up, his power hand is out front. Which makes him even more effective. Moraldi trying to become as small as he possibly can. Trying to protect his body, spilling those body shots. Good combination. Nice combination. Nice combination. Nice but give credit to Moraldi. He's showing some life here in these exchanges, at least. Definitely showing heart. Look, Moraldi's all done, but what he's doing right here, he's just fighting the time to land the left hook or throw a right hand, but the referee's not going to give him that chance. He's turned his back. That means he wants no box. William Zapata, 14. Straight knockouts, and he remains undefeated. That power is serious. El Camarón with another knockout. And look, all that power is not being smothered. Anytime you see that, it's just impressive on a young fighter. The easier you're landing, the more excited, the more you want to throw punches, but not with him. It's maturity. Ladies and gentlemen, here from the Honda Center, our referee, Eddie Hernandez Sr., steps in and puts a halt to this contest. The official time comes to you, 1.59, round number four. And still undefeated, your winner by KO, the WBA Continental Americas lightweight champion, William El Camaro! Oh!